morning guys John Coral Homesteaders here today we're gonna to be showing you guys how we set up and use our Starlink mini using only DC power so give me a second to set it up and I'll show you what we're doing here so this is the Starlink mini that I carry in here it's just a regular backpack inside of it. I run a couple of these styrofoam kneeling pads. Keep the unit nice and safe in here. I also don't throw anything on it, but I also want to make sure it's as uh, safe as possible. These are the numbers I'm getting off of it when I've got it up and running. So all I'm going to do is take it out of the container. I'm gonna take out my jackery. You can get a small little device, a jackery or whatever. This is only a 200 watt jackery. And then instead of using the cable that came with it, I'm gonna be using something that's gonna convert it straight to DC power, which has got a little inverter that's gonna get it to the right voltage. I found this to be a really handy little solution for what I'm trying to do because it's going to let me plug this straight into a cigarette lighter whether it's in a vehicle uh, whether it's in a portable generator like this one is or whatever else I need to plug it into and then this is just going to plug just the same spot that you would plug your regular cord in in the back but now you're plugging it in and using it for the, the power directly. So we're just gonna set that there. We're gonna turn it on. Try and point north, which is that way, but I'm gonna drop it down a little so you guys can see this a little better. And then let me bring you over to it. So pretty much got everything connected. Now what you're seeing right here is the wattage that it's taking for the unit to get up and running. Uh, make sure you got the thing turned on. And that it's seated, because if it's not seated far enough, it's not gonna pull that wattage. And that's gonna tell you whether or not you've got to reseat the thing, is whether or not you're getting any wattage in there. So this is gonna allow me to use this thing remotely wherever I want to go. Um, actually, hold on a second. Looks like I'm... Uh, what did I do here? Okay, now we got it plugged in far enough. So it was actually uh, this connector that I didn't have pushed in far enough. You see how you can tell, you can see the actual wattage. It's going to go up to 60, I think, and then it'll drop back down to what it's going to actually use. It's going to last a lot longer doing it this way than plugging it in AC and having the AC convert back down to the wattage that it runs at. So now we've got the uh, we've got the Starlink. It's pointed roughly north. We've got it powered using DC only, and in just a few seconds, we'll end up with. A Wi-Fi connection and we'll get the Starlink up and running. Um, just want to let you guys know there are other options to running this as an AC. You don't have to put an inverter or a generator into your vehicle. You could run it off of the cigarette lighter. I could also, and the reason I went this direction is it's got the connectors here. I could just snip these off and then I could run these two wires, each one to a battery. Or what I would probably do is just buy another adapter for this and adapt this to two wires and use that to plug straight into a 12 volt battery somewhere so that I'd have that up and running as well. This connection, so you see now we've dropped down to about 30 watts. This connection right here will work off of the standard as well as the mini 
in case you're wondering and happen to have the the standard Starlink and not the Mini. So, hope that helps. Again, um, want to make sure you get a little bit of padding if you're going to be throwing this into a backpack and throwing it into a rucksack or taking it with you. Make sure it's by itself so you don't hurt the board and uh, so that you know where the jackery is. So it's part of the build as well. Yeah, thanks for watching.